India's first radio taxi service and had a stellar run for the initial years. But Meru has had to look for a new path now that taxi aggregators like Ola and Uber are here. And CNBC TV18 learns that the taxi aggregator is going to embark on its largest ever fundraising drive. Priya Shed is joining in now with all the details. Uh, Priya, Meru has already started talking to investors. What are they talking about? What are the kind of funds that they're looking at raising? And how exactly will they catch up to the likes of Ola and Uber? Well, absolutely. With competition heating up as far as the radio taxi and the taxi aggregator space is concerned, uh, we learned that Meru is all set to drive away with a fresh set of funds. In fact, what we're picking up is that this would be a Meru Cab's largest fundraise till date. And sources tell us that this could be in the range of about 150 to $200 million. Now, just to break this up in terms of who the investors will be, it will be IVFA, that's India Value Fund Advisors, uh, who are most likely to pick up a stake as far as this fundraising is concerned. Remember that IVFA uh, has a majority stake as far as Meru Cab is concerned and they will look at increasing their investment going forward. Uh, also another consortium of uh, VCs will be pulling in money as far as this fundraise goes and also global investors are likely to participate in this round of fundraising. Now with competition in terms of Ola and Uber uh, picking up and the kind of fundraising activity that we've seen over the last few months, uh, Meru Cabs will be using this money to pump up their presence as far as the new tier 2 and tier 3 cities, the 20 cities that they're looking at expanding into as far as well as uh, you know, put in some money in the carpooling service that they've recently launched. In fact, uh, Meru till date has raised about $120 million and uh, we did write to Meru Cabs on this and they responded by saying that uh, they will be going for a fundraise of about $150 million and IVFA uh, will continue to remain a part of their investors. So clearly we have to wait and watch what kind of act action actually pans out going ahead. Back to you. Well, Priya, much needed action, uh, definitely, given the fact that the likes of Ola and Uber are sitting on $1 billion valuations there.